Yes. Can I start, sir? Leo, sir? Yeah, yeah, Shandu. Okay. Uh, happy evening, and I welcome you all for this uh, grand webinar. Now I call Priyanka Ye from ECT section to propose welcome address. A warm welcome to everyone to this beautiful evening. Today we have Dr. Subhatra Chaladurai as our chief guest. It is an honor for me to welcome her on behalf of RMK College of Engineering and Technology. With great joy and immense excitement, I feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to Principal Dr. K. Ramar, Dean Dr. K. Selvaram, Head of Science and Humanities Dr. K. A. Selvakumaran, Branch Coordinator Mr. J. Leo Amaldraj and the faculty members of RMK College of Engineering and Technology. It is a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to my dear friends. I just could want to say that may everyone enjoy today's program and take back some wonderful memories. I once again welcome you all to this outstanding web webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Priyanka. Now I call Yes Dharani of ECA to introduce our uh, chief guest. A warm welcome, ma'am. Dr. Subhatara Shaladurai is a woman with ambition. She was graduated in commerce from SNDT Women's University, Mumbai, and completed MPhil, MA Sociology, PGDHRM, and MA Psychology, and PhD in commerce. Presently working as an assistant professor of commerce in Pioneer Kumaraswamy College, Nagarpur. She has had 18 years of teaching and administrative experience in schools, colleges, and NGOs. Having published more than 70 research articles, national and international level, and published 14 books. She is an NLP practitioner and psychologist counselor and soft skill trainer, acted as resource person for national and international seminars and conferences. She has delivered several guest lectures for academic upliftment and community development. She has received KST NSS Program Officer Award in the 2016 Dr. Radha Krishna Shikshana Ratna National Award during 2018, Agipse Gandhi Award, Kavi Arasar Kalaimani Award, Young Educator and Scholar Award, Women Achiever Award, the Real Superwoman Award, I was Semmel Virudde, Best Editor for Outstanding and Dedicated Work in Editing from ESN Publication, Kalvi Sundaroli Virudde, Best Academician Award, Excellence in Academic and Research Development Award, Best Women Leader Award, Embodiment of Personality Award during the 2021, Amazing Award of Honor during 2021, Asia Book of Record and India Book of Record. For maximum author for a book on COVID-19 and its impact, Nelson Mandela International Peace Award during 2021, Princess of Peace Award during 2021, International Leadership and Award, Star of the Year Award, International Brand Icon Award during 2021. Dr. Subhatira Chaladurai found the president of the trust named Cape Forum U Trust, Kanyakumari District, Tamil Nadu. Establishment of the trust is for five fold objectives to with research and development, skill development, female health and awareness, education and child development, and women empowerment. She actively involves herself in social activities. An initiative towards the fivefold activities of the trust is her passion. She strongly believes that young people's education and empowerment could see the tremendous growth, undoubtedly, as they are the tomorrow's innovators, creators, and the leaders. Thank you. Thank you. May I now request Dr. Subhadra Chaladurai to deliver her lecture. Please, ma'am. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jay Lakshmi, ma'am, and the organizer, uh, Narmata, ma'am, and the wonderful part of the day, the introduction 
has really done by Darani. I think thanks to Darani uh, for a brief introduction as well as well as you have taken much time and uh, effort to uh, introduce myself. Uh, thanks a lot. My greetings and uh, uh, heartfelt wishes goes to RMK College of Engineering and Technology, the management, and the head of the Department of um, Science and Humanities, who is duly organizing a session on achieving problem solution fit and product market in association with the uh, institutions innovation company. My hearty welcome to all the participants of this uh, virtual session. I hope uh, everyone is very much eager to know about uh, uh, the particular topic called the problem solution fit and the product market fit. You may be much inspired with the topic. I hope you all, if not, we'll start with the wonderful term of the topic, two important terms or the two important words of the topic, product and market. Moving back to the topic again. One more important aspect which focuses or which we ought to think about is achieving. Achieving is nothing but a success a goal towards success and the topic envisages, envisages on problem solution fit and product market and i want some of the students to uh, say yes if you are uh, very clear with my audio and video i'm audible very clear because i'm in my hometown uh, whereas i'm using the new headset i just want a confirmation from the participants um, if i'm clear Yes and or no. Yes, your voice is clear, but uh, the background, some of the sound is also coming. Yeah, the noises are coming right through. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I'll try to inform them. And um, uh, students, just uh, you have the access with chat box, right, ma'am? Have, have they given access to chat box? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just type S yes if you're audible. Type S. Yes. Then we'll move on to the important two terms in this uh, particular concept, problem solution fit and product market fit. Product and market. You know what product is? I'll start with the question. <laughs> so don't mistake. It's because as these two terms are very easy, we'll go with the question. You know what product is? We can type in the chat box if you have access with the that uh, audio you can unmute and uh, speak product what product is any of the student has given uh, access to uh, the audio ma'am student will they have uh, access to audio no ma'am no ma'am no they don't have if you want okay. i will do the art uh, at least or four or five students you can give access so that they'll respond to us no for four yes, or five yes. students, you can select and give them access who yes, are very yes. active and uh, willing to sure. respond to the. Sure, sure. Okay. So, product is nothing but a commodity or uh, which is mobile and marketable nature. Some we call it as free product and some we call as a um, economic uh, goods or economic product which has price and which could be sold in the market. Okay, so as you know all about this product and market is a place where buyers and sellers meet easily economic definitions or market, uh, the term market means where the buyer and seller meet to buy or sell goods, it's a place where they meet. Okay, it's very easy, right? Now tell me yes or no, product and market, two terms are very easy. Product means commodity or pro goods or services is also product. Not only product, no, even the service provided by a service provider, it's also a product. Are you clear with this two product and uh, market easy? If easy, then you say yes. Then only we can move further. Yes, yes, very good. Okay. So uh, here uh, another uh, important thing you need to focus on is about startup. The institution and the innovation council might have given uh, several lectures on entrepreneurship. The startup and entrepreneurship is not two different terms, but some similarities, but the different meaning. 
you know what entrepreneurs who entrepreneurs are and what entrepreneurship is and the startup is nothing but a young company founded by one or more entrepreneurs to develop a unique product or service is funding from their own self or from some other uh, source of funding like uh, moving for the going for the bank or uh, from their families and friends and from uh some other uh, funding sources which are available and even the government um sources are also available for funding okay so that is a different topic so one way when a person will be called a self-reliant i'll correlate with this startup and self-reliant then we'll come on to the top okay the self-reliant when a person will be called a self-reliant to make you clear i have given some um that's meaning in tamil தன்னம்பிக்கை சுயசார்பு தற்சார்புடைய சுயசார்பு அல்லது நம்ம சுயசார்பு ரெண்டு தடவை இருக்கு தன்னை சார்ந்து இருக்கக்கூடிய வேறு ஒருவரிடமிருந்து உதவியை எதிர்நோக்கிறாத தன்னை தானே நம்பி இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு சூழ்நிலை நவ் யூ செல்மி யூ ஆர் செல்ஃப் லைரன் ஆர் செல்ஃப் டிபெண்ட் டிபெண்ட் ஆன் சம்படி ஆர் யூ டிபெண்ட் ஆன் யுவர் ஓன் செல்ஃப் செல்ஃப் ரிலையன் பர்சன் இஸ் அ பர்சன் ஹூ டிபெண்ட் ஆன் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் ஃபார் எனி திங் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் for expenses meeting the expenses for paying the fee or for uh, buying uh, anything which they want or uh, for their food and other expenses whatever it may be they only depend on himself or herself is a person called self reliant person now tell me you are a self reliant person or you don't rely on anybody independent dependent on somebody or you are independent person just tell me yes or no self reliant or not you rely on somebody you depend on somebody for anything the answer will be the answer will be let me check let me check your answers you are you are depend on depend for ninge vera yara saarnd irkingla illa saaramal irkingla romba simple romba easy ana or question are you dependent or independent you depend on your parents you depend on your teachers or you are independent your answers dependent okay you depend on parents for what all for what all you are dependent and all everyone can answer on your parents for what all you are dependent edukalla you are dependent edukalla you depend on others idu enakku venum idu enakku venum so so many things you need in your life you have so many needs in your life so for what all you are dependent for your education next for care and support then then what you can type in the chat box so that i'll understand the food for food very good for financial support yes right then for what else you depend on shelter food very good food shelter we do then what else clothes all basic needs you know ah huh? food clothing and shelter okay then what else for giving food uh, good education for giving good education to your own self you are depending on somebody else okay agreed studies kartik raj then then who else okay so many things you are depend on and uh, here if you say uh, this i am not self i am a self sufficient person is this is a case a person can say i am self sufficient storing all that on the back this is the case a oh, person can say that na romba self sufficient person enak enna thevai ella everything i have can you say like that so what makes you a self reliant person what makes you self reliant person now you all answer me then i'll i will also talk to you i won't take much time i'll justify to my topic in very short period of time 45 minutes i'll take then 10 minutes for interaction mala fikin answer Yes, if you want, you can unmute and talk, ma'am. Ma'am, I gave yeah, one. Yeah. What program. makes you? What makes you uh, self-reliant? When you will be self-reliant? Once if you give a right answer, we will move on to the next. Yes, ma'am. 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 when you were financially stable when we can earn when we have a job when we become independent and meet up all our needs very good very good very smart students okay 
so in order to be a self reliant person you may have to be you have to be a employable person employable we can say you are in a job and you are able to earn money so with that we call it as employability or these are the kinds of employability options you have so many options we have to be employed and earnable person even as a students can some uh, even in the uh, part time job uh, people are earning and uh, so many uh, work ambiances you have as a trade as a profession as unskilled labor not only a skilled labor or not only a skilled person works even unskilled person one who is not educated much illiterate people one who are uh, uh, less educated be below the class of 10th and all they are able to earn money so what makes you earnable when you be an employee when you get an employment you will be earnable person so what else is the other option do you know how much of pop, how much how many percentage of populations can engage them in organized sector you know what is organized and unorganized sectors organized sectors are public sectors or some kind of even uh, the aided one one who is having collaboration as standard norms and standard kind of salary and job security we call it as organized where we where the unorganized sector is a place you, where you do not have a job security not higher salary no protections no uh, kind of thing so so that we call it as un, uh, unorganized sector and only where only you can enter into your organized sector a very few or less kind of a proportion of um, availability job availability in organized sector whereas the others can only occupy themselves in order to be a self reliant person in order to become a employable and earnable person they have to opt for unorganized sector these are unorganized sector where there is no system and where there is a system we call it as organized sector whether it is public or private tech sector and very less proportionate but less than 2% or 20% or 30% people can only be accommodated into organized sector whereas the 70% more than 70% the population can only fix themselves into unorganized or otherwise you can be your own boss a person will get the option to earn money as a employer or employee and the employer is a person who is called as self employed who provide jobs to others he is your own boss be your own boss and provide job to others as a employer or otherwise join in a company or organization or institution and you can earn money as a salary as a employee agreed so two options you have employer and employee right yes or no so when i could i could see your faces when i could be able to see the interactions then uh, it will be very fruitful session but uh, you can even chat in the form of uh, chat box or you can and you can speak so many options are available even in virtual mode okay so employer or employee uh, employee two options you have and the employer is a person see the employer is a owner owner is the entrepreneur and the entrepreneur is the one who start their own uh, own kind of institution or organizations or an enterprise with an initiative we call him or herself as a startup the person who is having a start startup is a initiative the first step to start a venture is a start so there you know the two kind of ventures are the manufacturing or services manufacturing panla service panla manufacturing the sense producing the goods services you uh, provide service to others and uh, service as a product you earn money and here comes the uh, uh, kind of things which we are talking about the process the process of manufacturing uh, is uh, involving the raw materials manufacturing process production uh, product delivery customer will utilize and uh, again uh, he will he or he or she will go for manufacture so this is a process so here in manufacturing after manufacture manufacturing what a product a product especially this particular topic is mean for um product manufacturing and even you can compare even with the service sector also because it is basically based on solution based basically ba uh, is it based on solution solution in the sense of we take uh, in case of a research in case of research we call it as what what research is 
can you can anyone answer unmute and say what research what research means research nine what is research researching okay what is research researching researching what already existing problem existing problem you identify and you uh, search for a solution as a search for the findings and you give some recommendation the process is called research the same kind here also deep analysis of something okay good good i like uh, when you start interacting okay so uh, is research is what is a process of finding solution to your problem and this topic is also the product market a pro topic is also nothing but seeking a solution to the problem so what is the problem uh, we we have in the market or problem we have in the market you know the meaning or definition given by the modern uh, marketing modern marketing is be depends on the need and the wants of the customer satisfying the needs and wants of the customer identifying the needs and manufacture then produce the goods then automatically your product will be sold in the market it, it is a process of creating demands based on the needs of the customer and here this job is to if you wanted to be an entrepreneur if you wanted to be a person one who is going to uh, start with a venture called startup it is your duty to find the problem in the uh, market or market in the sense the overall population who are all uh, going to buy your product everyone is market the children uh, demographically you can see you can see the uh, kind of um, uh, male female gender wise any kind of distributions you can see everyone each and everyone your neighbor your uh, um, classmates your teachers your colleagues everyone is everyone is the market So market is and uh, Steve Jobs says Steve Jobs. You know who, who is Steve, Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Apple, this iPhone and iPod and even uh, uh, the laptop also they have. This it's a unique product. It is not your. He says it's it's not your customer's job to know what they want. It is not the job of the customer to know what they want. Then it's whose job? Whose job is to find what they need actually? it is the job of the producer or manufacturer yaar porla uruvaakraangalo avungalude vela enna appadina enna thevangiradha kandupidikiradhu to connect making a product that people want and building something that actually solves a problem so this problem solution fit just nothing but you see uh, i'll i'll give some examples and you will get a clear understanding and I, as well as you you will some you will propose you will give some uh, topics also you will give some examples also people usually uh, think that uh, i am very black so black people are not beauty and uh, the skin the kind of paleness that's uh, um acne that spots it's all uh, makes me look ugly i'm not completely good than the people one who is having the soft skin and the brighter skin so this is the problem this is a major problem and based on that so many n number of product has been released to make you or look brighter this product will make you bright you can compare your skin tone after using this product can you give some examples of those kind of products so what kind of products they give some they will give you with some on uh, the card oda chertu kudupanga avanga use panna use panna nichayama skin tone appadi maarite poguma neenga color aiduvingala so color a illa romba dark a irukengiradhu pigmentations irukke acne irukengiradhu is a problem so solution is what a kind of product which makes the uh, people a brighter look brighter so those kind of products uh, duly introduced by any manufacturer it is adik romba advertisements munadila nariya advertisement inga paathirupinga nippo that the ratio or the proportion of advertisement has been reduced the reason behind because it it is a product which gives solution to the problem and unfortunately what happens uh, see காலையில் எழுந்தோன்னே என்ன செய்யணும் ப்ரெஷ் பண்ணணும் ப்ரெஷ் பண்ணினா அது ஒரு மேனுவலா ரூட்டீனா ஆகிட்டோம் ப்ராப்ளம் இஸ் வாட் த பேட் பிரீத் பேட் பிரீத் இஸ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஃபிளேவரஸா இருக்கணும் இனிப்பா இருக்கணும் ஒரு ப்ராடக்ட் கிரியேட் பண்ணிட்டோம் 
So, are they unique kind of products? Are they madri? So many peoples are there in the market, and they are preparing. Is the solution to the problem has been created, and now there is no need of marketing such product. So, can you name some products which is solution to the the fairness? Anala kalaar kono adhi kana products onra ande mono. Can you type it? Type it. I, I first option I'll give. Fair and lovely. Fair and lovely. Glow and lovely. Very good. Then what else? You give some more product, dear. Glow and lovely. Then what else? The product. Some more products. Dove. Dove also also have fairness cream. Pons white beauty. Very good. Pons white beauty. It's it's itself. The name itself. The product itself has. So the earlier slide I I have shown you about a brand. You know what brand is? It's the name of a product. And Pons white beauty is the name of a product. And this name of the product itself shows that what the product is for. It's a Pons is a brand name, and the other uh, remaining words itself shows that white and beauty. You will you will be white and you will be beautiful. So uh, the fairness cream, the cream, the name of the product itself, the fairness, fair and lovely. Okay, so so many kinds of such products has been initiated, uh, um, knowing the problems in the uh, market. Okay, so product. Based upon the problems in the market, so that is why the name of such such particular concept is given as problem solution fit, solution to the problem as a product. Okay, so you keep this in mind, then we will move on to the next. And why do the startups fail? The reason why do startups? Several people they start with the, they come out come out with the several products, and sometimes what happens? The products fails. the product does not reach to the market for example you can take an example of an innovative product recently launched uh, most not most recently but somewhat two three years back it has been launched but uh, gradually it is uh, failed it is not fit into the market can you name some kind of i'll give one or two products you can also think uh, uh, so the product which has been uh, launched or released recently and got failed one one product i can say is the nano car nano car so nano car what they thought is it will fit for the uh, uh, middle class people and people will buy more it cost around 1 and 1/2 lakhs rupees so what happens ultimately people will buy uh, n number of people will buy so what happens in middle class family the proportion of middle class family in the overall overall population is higher rather than the uh, poverty below poverty line middle class then the upper middle class then the Uh, upper class so this is the uh, class level classification of our population so they thought to 40 to 50 percentage of population they comes in the uh, class in between the middle class family they will opt to they will go for the one who are traveling in bike it cost around 60 to 70 thousand for a bike what is the average price for a bike if it is a gearless or gear bike it comes around 60 to 70 thousand And if you go for higher brand, then it will cost even one and a half lakh, two lakh rupees for a bike. And when two three people travel together in a bike, what happens? It is uh, too um, difficult to travel, difficult to ride a bike even. So they thought uh, people can spend one and a half lakh rupees. It is it is not that difficult to spend one and a half lakh rupees. Then people will go for na buying a nano car. Then what happened? the one who are already having a high expensive car they bought this car as a secondary option the alternative substitute as a substitute they bought it so what happened the middle class people they did not buy the car uh, who bought uh, who actually bought the car is being upper class people one who are already having the car they bought it as a alternate or a substitution as a, a substitution car so they thought is uh, spending 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees of car Uh, may, maybe we should not compromise for the quality. Uh, we should not go for the price which is leased and one and a half spending one and a half lakh is waste of money. So what happened? This problem solution fit problem is what the traveling in the bike they have they are have the ability to buy uh, for one spend one and a half lakh rupees. So they have initiated that. So ulti ultimately, what happened? This startup, this kind of uh, plan, what they have implemented, it got failed. so what what happens what is the reason and another example i can give you for blackberry mobile how many of you know blackberry mobile just say yes if you know if you have heard about that product just tell me yes 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 no 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 if you know you heard about uh, blackberry mobile 
So how does the BlackBerry mobile uh, it uh, looks? Uh, it it has a keyboard that uh, that uh, keypad, not keyboard. It's a keypad. So where where we have to, but it is expensive. Okay. So what happened ultimately? People started buying it. Uh, the the amount of buying the uh, number of uh, products sold has been reduced. So ultimately, the product has been vanished. So why do startups fail? And it shows, it says that there is a variety of reasons for startups to be failed. There is a variety of reasons. And one reason for failure is a lack of market need. As I told you, the definition of modern definition of who is the father of modern marketing? Who is the father of modern marketing? If you know, you can type the name or you can open, even unmute and say, who is the father of modern marketing? If you say the father of modern marketing, I'll say he's the mother of, of modern marketing. Is it Philip Kotler, ma'am? Ma'am, anybody is there to respond? Ma'am, is Philip Kotler? Pardon, ma'am, I can't hear. Oh, Philip Kotler, but this father of modern marketing. Yes, ma'am, my our studio student said yes. Okay. Then he says, identify the needs of the customer. The customer's needs should be identified or it should be addressed first. So when you have a lack of market need, that is the foremost failure for your product, failure for your startup. So now that uh, you know why startup needs a problem solution and why do it need a problem solution fit? Identifying the problem in the market and producing the product which can, need, which can meet the need of the customer, which can solve the problem of the customer. Once it uh, solves the problem of the customer, then you no need of doing marketing, you no need of uh, thinking or failure uh, in uh, your product. So we can dive in understanding that what it is. For this, you need uh, to ask yourself uh, or, uh, three questions. Is it required? When you think about a product, how many of you wanted to be an entrepreneur? Just uh, after the sessions, uh, you can answer me. How many of you are interested to launch a product? How many are uh, actually wanted to start with the startup? Okay, so ask yourself this question. Is it required? Is it required? Do customers really need this? Anything you think that you wanted to manufacture or produce, ask yourself this three question. Is it required? Do customers really need this? Is it viable? Viable in the sense whether they will pay for it not or not. Because always demand depends upon this ability and willingness to pay. Demand is always depend on desire. Desire. Desire na virupurku. I have the virupam to buy, buy the product. Whether you are able to buy or able to pay for it. And I, am, I have the ability to pay. I have money. Are you willing to pay? If you are willing, if you have desire, if you are able and if you are willing to pay, then we call it as viable. It is a viable product. If the customer is having money, that, has, that, what, that is what happened to Nanocar. That is what actually happened to uh, Nanocar, where the uh, desire of having a car is accepted. Ability is there to pay for one and a half lakh rupees, but nobody is willing to pay because they don't want to waste their money. They don't to invest their money in a product which has a very least quality or quality. They don't want to compromise on quality. Then, can you build it? Is it feasible for you to build it? So these three questions you must ask before uh, starting with anything. And you need to make sure that what you are thinking is going to solve a real problem and the solution what you have given whether people will pay for the solution ninga or solution kondirkinga idu okay idu ipdi agum apdi agum everything is okay but people will uh, people will really uh, go, going to pay for your solution so the saying if you build if you build it they will come if you build it they will come is not necessarily applicable Next, we will be going through the five questions, okay? So, five questions for uh, problem solution. So, problem solution, okay, if, you, if you are going to uh, think about, about a product, ask, uh, ask yourself uh, a five question. This for startup needs to consider when you develop a new product. 
when you develop a new product this is the foremost as for research how much the review of literature is important the same kind this um, before developing or thinking about a new product ask this five question make note of it make a note of it all this five question earlier i said the, the three questions it is okay and now you uh, seriously take this five questions before uh, starting or developing a new product what is the problem first you observe is what is the problem we need to observe it so so many things are so many possibilities are there to identify the problems in the society problem in the market a problem in the society is also um help you in creating a product sometimes you can even uh, meet people talk to them uh, for a better uh, product definition so you have any idea talk to people not to one per one person and especially not to your friend don't reveal your idea to your friend friend will always say and your people they say naal per solluvanga veetla irukka andha naal per friends indha naal per illa more people talk to more people when you talk to the people your neighbor your friend they may give some idella thevaya already idu maari la irukku idella unakku thevaya ipdi panna apdi agum apdi panna ipdi agum so many things they will say it is an it is going to act as a negative some negative kind of thing so when you go for a kind of interviews and empathy interviews idu maari la irukku ipdi la panna nalla irukum adhu maari so a kind of or avanga care panni kekkra maari indha maari products irundha ipdi irundha ipdi irundha so you give you more idea then observe observe your workplace and find where the inefficiencies are where the uh, lack lack of uh, innovations lack of uh, um, solution based product and ask yourself uh, ask your uh, potential customers like uh, di- diary logging in we say this is happening uh, without your knowledge it is happening nowadays when you log into your uh, google chrome and search for some product a search for some pain or your beauty or any issues you um, uh, you log in you already your email id id has been logged into your uh, google search so automatically what will happen they will take some data uh, which um, uh, which will give uh, them clarity over oh, your problem and your need also and this customer journey mapping it automatically happens how many people they have and how many kind of issues identified they will map your journey how where all you are searching your once you say you have a body pain then you go for searching a, a medicine for your body pain then you again you go for what all uh, solutions uh, which can be homemade remedies for uh, solving a problem so so many things you go and depend on that you you will be able to know what actually the need of the people what actually the problem of the people so depending on that you can create a product and another thing is uh, first question was what is the problem try to identify it the next is who is your customer yaar ungala customer kolandengala periyavangala indha oorla ullavangala avanga endha maadhiri behavior ullavanga so these kind of things you need to uh, observe who is your customer target customer to whom you are going to give a product whether it is a male or female is educated or uneducated whether they belongs to urban or rural area and whether they belongs to this particular geographical in the sense area wise demographic in the sense male female age wise uh, gender wise calculations and and predictive you just predict ivangala irukumo andha maadhiri predictive kind of customer then yaar vena irukla andha mari then behavior based on behavior these people are the target customer so yaar ella vandu romba adikadi alcohol consume consume pandranga so yaar ella indha maari yosikranga yaar ella indha maari so you uh, categorize people and you identify who exactly is your customer okay this will also help you form a product which will not fail in the market so this is the um, idea generation to launch a product which will not fail into the market okay so what is the problem followed by who is a customer then who, how are they currently solving the problem so existing product already product is existing and combination of two to three products not a single product and zuri rigging solution is already providing a solution so you need to find that how many products are currently the paste example so how many uh, paste you know colgate can you type some names who are the paste uh, you every is this mandated to have a, a brush your teeth have a bath comb your hair 
shampoo your hair this this all mandatory process now nobody ought to uh, uh, force you that idu vandu optional idu vandu innaikku adu oru nal ivangalam pannuvaanga ivangalam panna maatanga nu kedaiyadhu everyone has that mandatory to brush your teeth um, have a bath twice or thrice so having a bath means going with the soap so soap is also become a mandatory product so uh, what difference you show in the soap is going to uh, create a market for your product so how many uh, paste name of the paste we i received let me check pepsidan dabur dabur and pepsidan twenty not colgate colgate okay very good colgate okay then so so many uh, sensodyne sensodyne colgate pepsidan so sensodyne has its own unique feature so they'll say sensitivity so sensitivity if you have a problem then use sensodyne so sensitivity it is a problem so problem based is problem solving product is solution based pro- product is sensodyne so when you when you bring a product based close up very good dabur close up uh, sensoform sensoform is also uh, this dentoval these are all uh, solution based product okay you have a good idea actually okay so three questions we have seen so first first question is uh, what is the problem followed by who is your customer then how are they currently solving the problem and now what is your solution what your solution you are going to give okay so already um, identify the problem and now how many products are currently meeting the problems giving solution to the problem and again what is the free new thing you are going to introduce what is your solution to the problem ninga enna solution kudukka poringa ninga inno enna vidhyasama solla poringa so that is it. see for example uh, for girls uh, one who are uh, uh, one who have uh, learned ari work i have recently seen a invitation which has a invitation along with the flyer i see i read a flyer and the boy says uh, this is my uh, uh, this is a startup by my sister uh, she is giving more money than me that then the sense a uh, weekly once she used to give 5000 to 6000 rupees to my mother she has just graduated she has just graduated so don't uh, immediately think that i am also going to learn ari work and i am going to design so these things it is an example i am telling you where you can be independent person self reliant person one who is earnable and the boy is telling i am earning i i'll be able to give i'm i, I was able to give only 10000 20000 but she is contributing more than me and she is able to do so, some kind of innovative work. so i see what is the basic uh, if she has learned with fashion designing i asked then she he says no she learned with ari work ari work ari designing theriyum thane ari nan and the blouse designing la pannuvom thane so how many of you know the ari work ari it's a designing work okay so she learned with the designing work and now she is able to do what all she has uh, consulted her blouse designing and the neck designing then sari uh, whole sari half sari then so many things i saw a great a biggest list and that is the reason we see the educated and especially the commerce background or kind of mba graduates you are really a person who can uh, start a venture without failing without failing in the sense it will not be failed it will not be failed because you have some kind of innovative ideas that sh- that can be substituted so only things you need to identify the problem the problem which she identified is people wanted to be fancy always women especially wanted to be fancy and bride bride should look extraordinary than the other other participants of the marriage or any event so you wanted to be an attire which uh, the attire which gives an special attractions so special attractions will be uh, will be uh, possible only with this kind of designing work so what is the your solution you are is a solution you are giving to the people uh, who is having a kind of problem in the problem in the sense uh, simple sari without any uh, the jewels and without any uh, kind of even uh, the ari worked sari ne- needs a less uh, jewels jewelry nariya poda venda adukku jewels an ordinary pattu sari kette jewels nariya podrom adu or kind of modern now ari designing ulla sarees o illa heavy ana blouse pota ornaments kammiya pota podu so you know it's a problem solution fit yes of course so so what is that uh, solution you are going to give and how are you unique and how are your startup is unique how are your product is unique that is a very important 
So these are the five questions you need to focus on before starting with uh, developing a new product. What is the problem? Who is your customer? How are they currently solving a problem? What is your solution and how are you unique? How your product is unique? Now, I'm not going to ask you a big question. Just type the five questions in the chat box. What are the five questions I said? I'll give you one minute of time. So it's 6.49. Just type for those five questions. If you have uh, mobile phones, you're not uh, showing a face. So it is very easy to access your cell phone. What are the five questions I said? Or somebody can unmute and speak. What is the problem? Okay. What is the problem is one question. Then, then, then. Who is the customer? Very good. Who is the customer? What is the problem? Then, only two questions I got. That's it. That's why I said you take some notes. Always. See, um, I always academic educations. You are watching a TV. Don't no need to take notes. You watching, you are listening to the radio or uh, kind of news, no need to take notes. If it is academic, if it is education, then certainly you must have a note and pen with you taking notes of it. So how are they currently solving the problems? Very good, very good. How are they currently solving the problems? How, how are you unique? How are you unique? How are your startup is unique? And how are your product is unique? It's very important. Let me, let me give you all such questions. I can show you all the questions. What is the problem? Who has the problem, actually? Who has the problem? Who is your customer? How are they currently solving it? And what is your solution? And how your startup is you? So this is all about solving a problem and bringing a product which solves a problem, current problem, which solves the existing problem. And uh, it is never, uh, we can say that uh, there is no product which solves the problem. There will be some products. And how you are going to bring a product in a unique way. So that is a problem solution fit. And problem solution fit on a problem to solve under or a product you are bringing and it, it will fit into the market. That particular simple concept is called product market fit. Fit the product in the market which solves the problem. Very simple. So that will help you in achieving the, um, your, achieving your goal to be a successful entrepreneur a successful person one who is not failed uh, with their initiative initiative is startup actually romba simple your pudu idea va ninge initiate pandringa implement pandringa that is startup with some initial amount initial romba uh, kammiyana or investment la you are going to initiate your uh, ideas is a startup and that will fit uh, that product will fit into the market a product market fit is when your product satisfy the genuine need among a specific group. That, that is what I said, who is going, who is your customer? The specific group of customers. Your product should meet, fit into the market, which satisfies, the, it will be fit only when it is satisfies the genuine need among the specific group of customers. Or even in simple uh, terms, we can say, you find what people really want and then build it for them. Same as modern definition of a marketing. Build what they people want. What the people want, which gives a solution to them that the people want. People want, which gives solution to them. They are very uh, obese, very fat, very lean, too tall. The two tallest, you cannot reduce uh, their uh, tall kind of things. But if they are very short, uh, you can give some kind of solution which will help you in uh, growing taller than what they are. Or slimming techniques involved kind of products. Or some food which gives, which helps you in uh, detoxifying or which helps in uh, improve your uh, immunity level. Some home homemade things you can make uh, which is un not exactly unique, but you can give some unique features for your product, which will fit into the market. So in very simple terms, you have to find what people really want, what people really want, and then build it for them. So it is very, it is your duty and it is very easy duty. As I told you, how we are going to identify it by observing or by talking to the people or by even uh, creating some models 
என்னைக்கு ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் லான்ச் பண்றதுக்கு முன்னாடி யூ நீட் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் சம் மாடல்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் சம் த ஸ்பெசிமன் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் யூ கேன் சி சம் ஈவன் லீடிங் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் பிராண்ட் தே ஆர் கிவிங் ப்ராடக்ட் ஃபார் சாம்பிள் it is nothing but uh, to identify what exactly solves the problem if it solves the problem then they will launch it to the market then the product is successful solution to the problem is a product the product which gives solution to the problem is a product you understand the concept how many of you understand the concept if yes you can say yes or no you understand the concept of uh, problem solution fit and product market fit the product which gives solution to the problem is a problem solution fit irukka kudi or product and the product eppadi irukna solution kudukra maadhiri irukku appo product vandu customer ku or need satisfy pandra maadhiri solution kudukra maadhiri irundha that product will fit into the market so that concept is called product market fit so underserved needs underserved needs and the target customer and prepare a product which focuses on their uh, value pr- propositions which focuses on that that product if you are able to find those kind of product you will be successful and how do you achieve it for your product one high level method is for this uh, um, product market determine your target customer identify underserved needs of the customer and define your value propositions this minimum viable product in the sense minimum viable viable na ena vaanga mudiyum avangala sale pa nammalala sale panna mudiyum avangala vaanga mudiyum that is viable this minimum or alavu kaadu kudutha vaangra maadhiri irukkona that is minimum viable product develop your minimum viable product test always test your minimum viable products with whom you are test anybody anybody with anyone it is not that to your relative as i told you friends and relative sometimes they may give you some negative command sometimes they uh, demotivate you and it is the duty for of you to check your product with um, as many as possible as many as possible evlo mudiyumo etna beta check panna mudiyumo avlo verkita you can check with your product so once you uh, understand that it meets the a uh, requirement of the customer it needs a need of the customer you can proceed with the selling and make money and thereby you will be a uh, with your selling skill as i told you you are all uh, a person capable of um, starting a venture with the multiple skill and one better skill is a selling skill how to sell the product and you it will be very easy for you when you develop a product which meets the need of the customer thevai arinji ninga urpatti panna and the product will be easily um, devel- easily uh, sold so what is the term given in the slide now gdp so any relationship with this uh, gross domestic product and your self reliance any uh, relations do you think there is a relationship between the growth of gdp we say uh, the growth of uh, gdp has been declined for the several years and it is keep on decreasing since last uh, uh, 2019 and it is expected to be declined you heard about the kind of things and individual self reliance has the impact on uh, gross domestic product so if you agree you can type s you can type s don't think i i already have type 2 yes so i'm not going to type s again so here after i'm not going to ask you to type yes again but some many some other questions i may take i may take five or two three more minutes to uh, conclude my uh, presentation so do you think uh, individuals income has a impact on gross domestic product yes or no yes it has a impact in what way because that income individual income the the total income the national income divided by the number of population is gross domestic the to, the gross domestic uh, product so every individual's incomes has a, a role in the national income uh, so many things are calculated we have a different strategy to be calculate but the income has its own impact and uh, you all know that india is the youngest country with the youngest population the not only now even by 2035 and 40 india is the youngest country and the youngest population are going to play a vital role in the uh, development of our country the development of our economy your self reliance your employability your empowerment is going to play a vital role in the development of our country 
the youth are indeed the most dynamic and vibrant segment of the population swami vegananda said and he is the person who made the youth dream about a better india as dr kalam's vision because he focused on youth population who is having the highest role in developing a individual and making the country by saying bye bye to the developing country and say hello to the developed country it is there in the hands of the youth and to uh, launch or uh, to be a self reliant you might have see, uh, heard about uh, different terms uh, you recently used the self reliant india atmanirbhar bharat it's all happens it can only possible with you all now finally agree in the, you wanted to be you want uh, your our country to be a develop to to remain as a developing country or you want your country to be a developed country just type developed or developing you want your country to remain as a developing country or you want your country to be a developed country so i want every participants to type developing either you have two options either you type developing or developed developed country so you it's, it's developing it's now it's a developing country but you will be till become a developed country only with your contribution either you get a employ you become a employee or become a employer who provides stock with a unique product launch a unique product into the market so with this uh, i think it's now my time to um, uh, conclude the session i hope i have justified with my topic and uh, it is uh, there in the hands of youth uh, to contribute much to become a self reliant person and thereby contrib contributing to the country's economy so with this uh, i thank uh, the opportunity given to me uh, to address on achieving the problem solution fit and uh, product market fit so i hope you all remember the title what is the title achieving the problem solution fit and product market fit so problem solution fit is nothing but um a developing a product which solves the problem or meet the need and of the customer need of the customer just simply you uh, have it in mind which meets the need of the customer so developing a kind of product which gives a solution to the problem so with this i thank um, the organizers of uh, today's session a wonderful opportunity given to me um always i end up saying uh, um if it is uh, offline we i get an opportunity to meet the students i interact much with the students so only missing part is uh, the students in face to face interaction is missing so we, we hope to have in future and coming days uh, narmada ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you any thank questions you, you, from the participants or uh, in in case of feed, feed, feedback is followed by later any questions you wanted to ask students or the teacher side with regard to my presentation jay lakshmi ma'am narmata ma'am and darani anybody am i on it was a wonderful session ma'am Jay Lakshmi, ma'am, am I on time? Ma'am, correct a time. Let me check it out. Yes, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, okay, yes, okay. ma'am. You are very, very specific with the time limitation, ma'am. Oh, And it was so wonderful session, very interesting. Whereas you made the students to actively uh, send their messages in the chat box. It was a really, very, very interesting. Leo, sir. Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, I'm saying it's a uh, motivation for the uh, faculties also. Uh, Or become an entrepreneur. <laughs> uh, so we we'll, uh, we'll definitely will uh, do some start startup. Yes, yes, excellent, excellent uh, motivation. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, shall we go for what up next, ma'am? Yeah. Yes. Thank. Yes, 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 sir. We'll move on to the what up thanks. Yes. Now I uh, call Shreemati from ECD to propose the what up thanks. Shreemati, good evening to all the wonderful people, and I would want to offer my heartfelt gratitude to our management, who is a pillar of support in all our endeavors, principal, dean, and head of science and humanities of R N K College of Engineering and Technology. It's a great honor for me to propose a vote of gratitude to all the dignitaries present. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the presence of all others. 
it's an utmost privilege for me to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion on behalf of rmk college of engineering and technology first of all i must mention a deep sense of gratitude to dr subhatra subhatra chelladurai for gracing this occasion today in spite of her busy schedule thank you ma'am for your very interesting and thought provoking address in addition i would want like to address express my heartfelt gratitude to the faculty and my student friends once again i thank all for your cordial cooperation thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am yes. thanks a lot ma'am thanks for the opportunity. thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you shall i leave the platform now yes ma'am yes thank you ramata ma'am nice to meet you thank you i spoke nice to you over the phone i couldn't see you but i saw you now <laughs> it was a yes. wonderful session ma'am so romba interactive a irundhathu thank you